Hello guys, yes, I came here a bit early all by myself because as you can see, this car only comes with one passenger seat inside. So my camera crew is actually uh, coming. Oh, hi, he's here actually. He came by the subway. So let's get back to the work now. Hi guys, welcome to Asian Petrol. Today we have the 2022 Kia Ray, which shares many of its components with Kia Picanto. And surprisingly, it only comes with one passenger seat. Why? So you can squeeze more stuff inside. Many boxes. <laughs> Usually Kia Picanto and Kia Ray comes with five seats for five passengers and there's even two-seater van for Kia Ray. But with just COVID-19 and just more needs for pickup and delivery services, Kia just rolled out this one personal commercial vehicle here in Korea. So let's take a look. And we have many boxes here which we'll try to squeeze into this Kia Ray. But before we do that, let me just give you dimensions so you have some idea. Kia Ray actually shares the same length and width with Kia Picanto, but look how tall Kia Ray is. It's actually very spacious inside. So let me just start loading the vehicle. Okay, let's see how many boxes it can fit inside. Let's start with one, two, Okay, last one. So, which is quite amazing for a commercial van like this size. I mean, we could have loaded more, but we just ran out of boxes, so. Quite nice. I think it's more than 20 boxes, so. Pretty nice. Aren't you going to show us the interior? What? Oh my God. Okay, I start loading. Okay, boxes outside so I can show you the interior of this Kia commercial vehicle. Very interestingly, Kia Ray comes with sliding door on the passenger side and this front one also opens more than 90 degree, which allows very large space, which should be very nice for both loading and unloading. And because there isn't any passenger seat, this one personal cargo van allows more than 1600 liters of cargo space which is about 30 percent more compared to two personal vans so which is very nice and we're also given many frame bars very nicely put together and you can place lots of things hanging here and also round uh, windows to protect them from being shattered and I'm about 6'2", and I can even lay down here. I mean, there isn't much space, but I can lay down and uh, take a quick nap time to time. And if you ever get bored, you can start working out like this at your spare tire. And if you guys are enjoying this, please like this video and subscribe so you can grow this channel together and have more fun. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Okay, now let me just show you the car from outside. Although Kia Ray has been with us more than 10 years, they never rolled out a brand new one again. Uh, this is a facelift from year 2017. I think it still looks quite cute. Uh, in my opinion, rabbit looking headlamp design, new Kia logo. And although this isn't all electric vehicle, we have a limited air intake on the top and the bottom. This is actually powered by three cylinder, one liter MPI gasoline engine. And we also have a fog lamp. Yes, not LED, but I don't blame them because this commercial van actually starts around 10K US dollars here in Korea. Okay, now let me just show you the uh, headlamp system working in action. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal, fog lamp, and this is what or <laughs> sounds like. Okay, let me just show you the engine room. Yes, it's very narrow, but very deep because Kia Ray is so tall. It's actually powered by 
three cylinder, one liter MPI gasoline engine producing about 75 horsepower and 70 pound feet of torque. Engine is made it to four speed automatic and power sent through front wheels only. Yes, not huge numbers, but it actually feels quite nice on the road. Okay, and it's so light. Okay, now let me just show you the car from the rear. We have a short fin antenna right on the top, rear window wiper, Kia logo, that's a turn signal backup, says ray reflector, and muffler is actually located on the right bottom side. And when you get inside, you'll be amazed how spacious it actually feels inside. That's probably because of the enormous amount of headroom. I think it's better than my Hyundai Palisade. And second, because of the great visibility. Look how large the windows are. We even have this cute looking large window near the A-pillar. And uh, material wise, it's hard plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic, hard plastic. So. Lots of hard plastic except where your elbows touch, but it's pretty all right, like I told you, because this commercial van starts around 10K US dollars here in Korea. And we have 3.5 inch screen right in the middle. Somehow it's not translated. Yes, this infotainment screen is translated. We have a three circular gauges, looks quite practical. I really love large air vents right on the top and large header button. It's really easy to find, very straightforward. And we have a eight inch infotainment screen. It's quick to respond. And yes, it's not the largest, but come on, it's not like you're gonna be sharing with anybody else. So I think it's pretty all right. And there's no start button right here. So you have to use the key, start the car. We have a gated shifter, it's quite all right. You can push it to the right and go manual. And we have a you know, large climate control right along the side. Very large, no auto though. <laughs> And we also have some storage area on the top, sunglasses holder right there, and additional storage area on the bottom. And we have uh, only one two-stage heated seats because, well, there's only one seat here. One USB charging port, one 12 volt charging, two cup holders, and one more storage area here, and one more on the top. It's actually padded so everything won't be flying around. And we have a glove box as well. Okay, so now let's go out and drive this uh, Kia Picanto commercial van with all the boxes. Okay, just like Kia Picanto, Kia Ray is powered by three cylinder gasoline engines. So when you do come to a full stop like this, you'll notice slight vibration, usual vibration coming from three cylinder gasoline engine, but it's much better than Hyundai Casper. So very good job. And once you start driving, the vibration goes away and it actually feels quite peppy because, you know, we do not have not much inside. And because we're driving in the city, uh, we cannot do the zero to 60 time today, which is, isn't so important with this Kia Ray commercial vans. Okay, so let's just skip it today. But actually it feels quite uh, peppy in the city driving Brakes are decent as well. Although these boxes are all empty, but brakes feel quite nice. Uh, there isn't any auto hold. It's, it's pretty all right. Engine sounds better than 60 by by two. It's a little bit whining, but at the same time, it sounds muscular too. So, yeah. Oh, four collusion warning there as well. So it's all right the engine seems all right an engine is made it to full speed automatic i mean it feels quite nice in the city driving but here comes the problem when you start driving quickly on a highway right now we're driving about 91 kilometer 90 kilometers per hour and because there is so many gears the rpm is going around uh, 3000 rpm which makes driving uh, less quiet and probably should not be great for efficiency as well and like i told you we also have manual mode can put the car into right pull, pull down three we're not going to four four three so 
That's it. So, I mean, we used to have cars with full speed automatic. That was quite, you know, normal a long time ago, but yeah, I miss A speed automatic. So, would it go into seconds? Oh, it does. Seconds, third, fourth. So, it's not most uh, quick shifting, but it gets job done. And sun visor is quite large and it also extends, but not enough. So come on, Kia, where is the rest? <laughs> so this is full throttle and once you start really driving quickly, um, the wind noise, especially around the A-pillar, starts to become very, very loud. And handling wise, let's just say it's not so fun because Kia Ray is so tall, it just kills the ESC early on, ruining every fun. But for the size of the tires, it actually took those corners very nicely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, considering how tall it is, it handles quite nicely. And surprisingly, this Kia Ray also comes with lane keep assist, but it's not one of those delicate systems. It's one of those uh, ping pong style that goes ping, pong, ping pong, but it's better than not having any, but it's, yes, it's not a delicate system. It's gonna beep and say, you know, keep your hands on the steering wheel, just like this. So you should always keep your hands on the steering wheel. So yeah, no adaptive cruise control not a regular cruise control either so you're on your own except the lane keep assist Tick. see it's working but it's not a delicate system and one more thing that really surprised me is how quiet this frame was uh, because i thought once we start driving it's going to shake a lot and make a lot of noise those noises actually coming from the boxes, not from the uh, frame bar. So it's really nicely put together. Actually, uh, factory quality. So good job, Kia. Not making any rattles or sounds. Good job. And according to Kia, this commercial van comes with two speaker sound system, one on the left, one on the right side. So let me just let you enjoy it. Yes, it's not great, but it will keep you awake during your long CT drives. Yes, this Kia commercial van isn't supposed to be a long distance cruiser, but rather it actually feels very home driving on narrow streets of South Korea. And just compact size of the car makes driving very, very easy and even uh, powertrain feels responsive. So yeah, it's just with all the cargo, can just be driving this uh, Kia Ray commercial van with ease. And the steering wheel, not too heavy. So everything, you know, feels very comfortable on small streets like this. And driving through a small, tight underground parking lot is no problem with this Kia commercial van. Okay. Even on tight corners, it's no problem. Very easy. Yeah, even driving through really tight corners is really piece of cake with Kia Ray. Really? It's that easy. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been our in depth review with 2022 Kia Ray, the commercial vehicle. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back with much, much more. So, before you leave, if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon. Stay healthy, and bye bye. And also parking is a piece of cake too just like that we have arrived to our destination